All right, here's some super absorbent polymer that I uh, used in my garden. And it's like, oh, crystals bigger than salt. And I'm gonna try to crush them up, make it a fine, Now you can buy these fine, but the ones I used for the garden had to be the coarse ones. But I'm going to try to bust some up and do an experiment with fake snow. Now those are a lot finer. Let me dump out those. Now what do you got for a piece of paper to pick these up with? Yes, I have is this. Perfect. Let's bust up a few more over here. The reason I'm doing this is down in Atlanta, during the last snowstorm, people were noticing that the snow was not melting. Even when they put it in their hand. And even when they put a torch up against it. And it was actually charring where the where the lighter or the torch had been placed and uh, they said gee this doesn't act like snow so they had a conspiracy theory and uh, they figured the chemtrails were dropping something that was making this fake snow and they were saying stay the heck away from it don't let your kids play in it don't let your kids eat it and uh, they asked for possible explanations. At least the website that that uh, exposed it was asking for possible explanations. And having experience with superabsorbent polymer, with the big chunks, you put this in your garden and then water it. And these chunks will turn into big pieces of jello, about the size of a marble. Mm. And the small ones should, uh, if you had crush them up small enough, which I don't think I have yet, it'll turn into fake snow. In fact, the movie industry uses this same stuff for fake snow. Mm. And I know that the stuff does not melt when you burn it. It only releases the water in the form of water vapor. So it vaporizes the water out of it and leaves behind the residue, which will be just small white flakes that will by then be soaked into your grass. You might see a little bit of a film on your driveway if it collects in a puddle, but hardly any evidence left behind of this fake snow but it acts I believe exactly like the videos that I that I watched so I'm going to uh, screen this get the finest stuff and soak it with water and then make it into a snowball like they did put a torch to it and see if it does exactly the same thing so we're gonna go in and screen this and okay wet. I've got the super observant polymer in this this uh, dish here and I'm gonna screen it and get just the fine stuff just like that it's got a little bit of dirt in it too but we're going to soak that with water and have enough for a snowball and it doesn't have to be cold water even we'll just do that 
and let it set and those pieces will expand and then we'll have see it's already like jello from little little teeny crystals and of course if those crystals had fallen through the air in the cold mm -hmm. they would look like little ice crystals and they would look like snow but right here we're just gonna fluff it up let the water soak in as best we can and then we're gonna oh rats I don't have my thermometer all right I'm gonna pause my camera here for a sec well maybe not I'll just let it run while I take these other crystals that were sitting over here mm -hmm. Once these get soaked enough, I'm going to put it right outside with the snow and let it freeze. So I'll have the same kind of experiment they had. Hmm. Why am I doing all this? Okay, we have our fake snow down here. I'll let you look at it real close. Even though the crystals were a little bigger than I needed, mm -hmm. uh, the crystals are a little bigger than snow, but I've seen snow that was crystallized that big. So we're going to take this just like the people did in in uh of course this isn't all the way down to freezing yet i don't think i don't have my thermometer here to tell but it's a little warm maybe we'll take this we'll set it right there on the dry concrete mm -hmm. and uh that one i'm gonna i'm gonna get a thermometer and put it in there sure. and, and here's the part It is steaming hot even, and yet there is no water under it. So, my theory is that the fake snow in Atlanta was super absorbent polymer crystals, fine crystals, dropped from the air. Mm -hmm. They humidified as they came down, filled with water, and looked like snow. And yet for the next four days, it didn't melt. It disappeared. It sublimated. The water within that superabsorbent polymer 
came out and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thermometer in here mm -hmm. and put it inside the house and let it get up the room temperature and show you that it still looks like snow. That's what I'm going to do later. Alright, I have taken my thermometer from outside and I'm going to put the bulb of this thermometer right into this fake snow. So it's leaning right up against it. I'll put some on the back as well. And we're going to let it warm up. This snow is already 32 degrees right there. And it is not not melting because it's not snow, it's super absorbent polymer. Soaked with water. Now I did throw some real snow on top of it to cool it off so there will be some water sitting in the bottom down there if there's not enough super absorbent polymer to, to uh, soak up all that water. In fact I've got some more crystals right here I could put on that in case there's any extra water down there but anyway this is going to demonstrate that this is what that snow in Atlanta could be if it reacted the way this did well already we are up to um, I don't know 38 degrees and we don't have any water sitting in the bottom of here because we don't have snow. We have super absorbent polymer soaked in water and the water stays in the polymer. The only way this is really going to get rid of all its water is when it evaporates the water or sublimates the water out of the crystal. So I'm going to let this get all the way up to room temperature, which in this house is like 65 degrees. And it's going to end up being just like what it is now. Nothing melting except for the little bit of snow that I threw on top of it to cool it off. And uh, that's what we got. Okay, it is 51 degrees on that thermometer bulb down there. Here's our fake snow and notice there's no water sitting in the bottom. It's just super absorbent polymer in the form of, I don't know, jello, jelly. And uh, obviously it's not real snow. And that's my theory of what the snow in Atlanta truly was. Well the thermometer is now up to 54 degrees and uh, it has been there for quite a while. Uh, room temperature in here is about 65. Uh, so why is it staying at 54 degrees? Because we have water uh, in the super absorbent polymer that is coming out and evaporating. It's not making a puddle, but it is evaporating. And the relative humidity we could probably uh, calculate by knowing that it's 65 in here on a dry bulb and 54 on a wet bulb. We could figure out what the relative humidity is. But it looks like 54 is going to be the maximum temperature we get because the water is evaporating from the superabsorbent polymer. So um, I, I'm going to stop taking the temperature now. I'm going to spread this out on a dish, uh, a colored dish, maybe a big orange one. Let's use this orange one right here. We're going to spread it all out. I'll leave some of it in here as well. And uh, 
spread it out, let it dry, and see what the residue looks like. Okay, it should be little crystals like the ones that we just crunched up and made this this jello-like substance out of in the first place. And so if the snow in Atlanta was super absorbent polymer falling through the sky and picking up water vapor and uh, turning into what looked like snow but wasn't, it should leave a little bit of white residue, let's say in a puddle. Um, well, there wasn't any puddles really because it was all spread out and it never did make a puddle. But when this all dries, there should be enough white powder in here that we can see that it was powder. Of course, if it rains again and washes it away and washes it, you know, I assume that in Atlanta it's going to rain a few times in, in the next few weeks. And they're not going to be able to, to see uh, the evidence of the superabsorbent polymer left behind by their fake snow. Uh, but I'm going to let this dry. I don't know how long it's going to take. It may take three days. Uh, not going to have any sun on it. We're just going to have room temperature. And I assume it'll stay at about 54 degrees until it dries up. So, my conclusions are the fake snow in Atlanta may have been super absorbent polymer in fine crystals sprayed by chemtrail planes and then creating fake snow as it fell making a slippery road because this stuff is very slippery and no puddles and then drying up eventually and that's the end of my experiment until this dries up which may be a few days so so if anyone else wants to do a similar experiment to what i've done here a good source for super absorbent polymer is baby diapers adult diapers even sanitary napkins um, they have this super absorbent polymer inside of them. So if you just rip apart a diaper or a sanitary napkin, you should be able to see uh, little crystals. Uh, not big crystals like the ones I had here, but little crystals, just little flakes, little almost powder, um, super absorbent polymer. And you can just soak some water into that or just rip up a a diaper that's already been soiled and just open it up and look at the little pea soaked uh, crystals in there and uh, do your experiment with that. So if you want to do the experiment that's where you can get some super absorbent polymer and test it and see if it came out like your snow experiment did.